Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new to this channel, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications, when we post the video on the channel. In this series of videos, I will give the answers to 70 most important instrumentation questions. After watching this video, you will have a clear understanding of instrumentation and control engineering. To make the video short, I have divided this whole video into four parts. In the first part of the video, I will cover 16 questions and answers. Let's go to first question. The first question is, what is process control? Process control in instrumentation refers to the application of various techniques, devices, and systems to manage and regulate industrial processes effectively. The primary goal of process control is to maintain specific process variables, such as temperature, pressure, flow rate, level, and composition, within desired and predefined limits to ensure the process operates safely, efficiently, and in accordance with quality standards. Second question is, what are the primary control variables? The primary control variables are temperature, pressure, flow, and level. The third question is, what are the different types of flow meters? Based on the working principle, there are five types of flow meters. First is differential pressure or DP flow meter, second type is velocity flow meter, third type is positive displacement flow meter, and fourth type is mass flow meter. The fourth question is, what are the different types of temperature measuring instruments? There are mainly five different types of temperature measuring instruments. The first type is a thermometer, the second type is a thermistor, the third type is RTD, fourth type is pyrometer, the fifth type is a thermometer, and the sixth type is an infrared thermometer. The fifth question is, what are different pressure measuring gauges? There are four main types of pressure measuring gauges. The first type is liquid column elements, such as barometer and manometer U tube. Second type is the elastic element gauge. Elastic element gauges such as Borden tube 69, bellows, diaphragm 44, and capsule. Third type is electrical transducers, such as resistance and inductance type. Fourth type is force balance devices, such as deadweight gauge, ring gauge, and bell gauge. The sixth question is, what is a transmitter? A transmitter, in the context of instrumentation and control systems, is a device used to measure a specific physical parameter or variables such as temperature, pressure, level, flow rate, or humidity, and convert this measurement into an electrical signal. This electrical signal is then sent to a control system, a data acquisition system, or other instrumentation for further processing, monitoring, or control. The seventh question is, what is a smart transmitter? A smart transmitter, also known as an intelligent transmitter, is an advanced type of measurement instrument used in industrial automation and process control systems. Unlike traditional analog transmitters, smart transmitters are equipped with built-in digital processing capabilities and communication features that enhance their functionality and allow for more sophisticated monitoring and control of industrial processes. Here are the key characteristics and features of smart transmitters. The first characteristic is digital signal processing. Smart transmitters incorporate digital signal processing capabilities, allowing them to perform complex calculations and signal conditioning tasks internally. This helps improve measurement accuracy and reliability. The second characteristic is two-way communication. Smart transmitters are capable of two-way communication with control systems and other devices. They can transmit measurement data to a central control room or data acquisition system and receive commands or configuration updates remotely. The third characteristic is digital communication protocols. Smart transmitters typically support digital communication protocols such as Heart Zero or Highway Addressable Remote Transducer Protocol or Foundation Field Bus. These protocols enable bidirectional communication over the same wiring used for the analog signal. The fourth characteristic is remote configuration. Operators and technicians can remotely configure and calibrate smart transmitters using digital communication protocols. This eliminates the need for manual adjustments in the field, saving time and reducing the risk of errors. The fifth characteristic is diagnostic information. Smart transmitters provide diagnostic information about their own health and status. 
This includes information about sensor health, internal temperature, and any potential issues or failures. Operators can use this data for predictive maintenance. The eighth question is, what is the difference between two-wire, three-wire, and four-wire transmitters? Two-wire transmitters are also known as loop-powered transmitters. They receive both power and transmit the signal using only two wires. They are powered by the same two wires used for signal transmission. Three-wire transmitters use three wires. One for power, one for the signal output, and a common ground or reference wire. The power and signal wires are separate, which allows for more precise and reliable signal transmission. Four-wire transmitters use four separate wires. Two for power and two for the signal. The power wires are independent of the signal wires, providing the most accurate and reliable measurements. The ninth question is, what is an actuator? In a closed-loop control system, the part of the final control element that translates the control signal into action by the control device. The tenth question is, what is a field bus? Field bus is a general term for a digital-only, high-speed communications protocol. The key attribute to field bus communications is higher speed communications with the possibility of addressing multiple transmitters all on the same field wiring. The eleventh question is, what are the flow measuring instruments used in flow measurement? There are different types of flow measuring instruments such as differential pressure meters and positive displacement meters, velocity meters, and thermal mass flow meters. Coriolis mass flow meters are being used in flow measurement. The twelfth question is, what type of pressure sensors are used in pressure measurement? There are different types of pressure sensors such as manometers, Borden tubes, bellow elements, diaphragm elements, and DP transmitters are being used in pressure measurement. The thirteenth question is, what is control valve? A control valve is a final control element, which restricts the flow of liquid through the channel. In other words, a control valve is a mechanical device used in various industrial processes to control the flow of a fluid, such as gas, liquid, or steam, through a system. The 14th number question is, what is a control system? A control system is a system that manages, commands, directs, or regulates the behavior of other devices or systems to achieve desired outcomes or results. The 15th number question is, what is the difference between open-loop and closed-loop control systems? The main difference between open-loop and closed control systems is that open-loop control systems do not have feedback, while closed-loop control systems use feedback to adjust the control action. The 16th number question is, what is a sensor, and what is its role in instrumentation? A sensor is a device that measures a physical quantity and converts it into a signal or data that can be read and processed by instrumentation and control systems.